had to hide the camera to shoot this lane or this part of the Agakan walk. It's so beautiful and I really had to shoot it despite the risk. I saw some, some people, some girls uh, being stopped by security and being told to stop filming. So I'm just wondering why build such an amazing place to walk and you can't take photos, you know. Feels like a waste of time, if you ask me. So anyway, I'm just going to film in this, guys. I hope I really don't get arrested. Yeah. Hey guys, uh, welcome to my YouTube channel. So I'm just walking around Nairobi City. Uh, it has been a while since I last did a video in Nairobi City. So I'll just be walking around the streets showing you how it looks. Today I just want to show you the city. It has been a long while since I last did a video like this. So please like and subscribe. I hope you enjoy this video. Nairobi in nowadays is very clean actually. And on a, sun, on a Sunday, it's very chilled. Uh, thank you for always, you know, supporting me on YouTube. I really want to get to 50,000 subscribers, so like and subscribe. So guys, currently this is, uh, I think I'll go this way. So guys, uh, this road is called the City Hallway, as you can see. And this one is the... Uh, what do you call it? Uh, 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 the city hall, Nairobi County City Hall, something like that. Nairobi city is very empty on Sunday, but it's very clean and beautiful. Nairobi city county assembly. Yeah, this is called Wabera Street, if I'm not wrong. If I'm wrong, correct me in the comments below. Remember, if you want to come to Kenya and you want someone to show you around, I'm the guy. I'll leave my contacts in the description below. Sometimes you just want someone who will show you around, uh, knows the places, knows the best prices, knows the best place to stay, and knows the streets well. Yeah. People do a lot of photography in Nairobi city, especially during Sunday, because like I said, there are less people, less traffic, and it's less chaotic. So people choose this day to do street photography. It's a thing nowadays. And shoot videos for TikTok and stuff like that. Yeah, so this is Wabera Street. I want to risk it all and walk in the middle of the street because it's beautiful. So this is Nairobi city guys. The things you always see on the international media they like to select the, the worst of the worst of African cities. I like to select the best and bring you the best of the best. Yeah. I'm still on Obera Street, but I'm approaching Kenyatta Avenue, which is up ahead. Guys, like and subscribe. I'm just going to walk around. You can see everywhere there this photography stuff. Everyone is doing photography these days for TikTok, for videos, for Instagram, 
photos, studio, everything. This is what is happening. You can see the streets are very clear and beautiful. Eh? So this is Kenyatta Avenue. This is Kenyatta Avenue. Yeah, this is Nairobi city, yeah. So chilled, so calm, so clean. Tomorrow the streets will be empty because of the demonstrations, guys. But on the other weekdays, like Wednesday and Tuesday, it will be so full on Fridays. So guys, today I just decided to like take a chilled video, walk around, see things as you see it with me guys, and I appreciate the love guys, for those who are tuned in and watching, I appreciate the love, please like and subscribe, let's get 50,000 subscribers, vlogging on the streets is always hard because everyone is looking at you, yeah. So this is Mundembengo Street and it's the one I'm going to take. You see, traffic stop works in Nairobi. Yep. Hmm. This is Wabera Street. I mean Mundembengo Street. This is the most photographed street in Kenya. I don't know. I want to. Yeah, guys, photography. Nairobi photography. Wendy Mingo Street, if you want best photos. Wow, everyone nowadays is a photographer, professional photographer. So guys, this is Mwindembengo Street and as you can see behind me, everyone is just taking photos and recording videos. Yeah, even ahead you can see some people are still taking photos and recording videos. It's a thing here in Nairobi on Sunday. Now I'm going to plan to go uh, downtown, a little bit of downtown, so I can show you how things are. Yeah. So this is the city market. Looks kind of beautiful with the gravity. I mean the murals. Yeah, looks beautiful. Let me try and zoom. Nairobi City Market.
so guys this is Moria Avenue I'm just going to try and walk and give you the best shots of Moria Avenue Motorbikes don't always respect traffic rules as you can see that guy Yeah, this is my avenue and this is Nairobi city on a Sunday So chilled now you can't really film along this place on a weekday because my avenue and Tombaya street are one of the most crowded when it comes to like traffic and when it comes to traffic and and people very much crowded anyway guys like and subscribe i hope i don't get into problem or trouble with the city kanjo people i hope i don't So guys, I'm still on my avenue. This is the Nation Media headquarters. Nation Media, one of the largest uh, media houses in Kenya, is actually headquartered there. Like I said, if you need a tour of Nairobi, like I said, if you need a, a tour of Nairobi. Some of the best places to go, some of the best things to do to enjoy yourself in Nairobi city. I leave my contacts in the description below. I can organize everything. The place you will stay, the Airbnb or anything you want, a hotel, I can take you to around places. Now, the thing with me as compared to other tour agencies is that the tour agencies are fixed. The schedule is always fixed for with me you can see any place you want anytime you can always change in case something happens so i'm very flexible and it makes the the travel more enjoyable and more fun and adventurous yeah. i love nairobi city personally <laughs> only the chaos i don't like yeah Yes, 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 yes. This is Nairobi City. Like and subscribe, yeah? 50,000 subscribers soon. Like and subscribe. Now, up ahead is the archives. And around these archives is the most chaotic area, most congested part of Nairobi. Actually, one of the most, because I know there are some areas in downtown Nairobi starting from actually starting from tomboya going down going south of this going on uh, actually starting from tomboya going all the way towards muduro and all those areas very much congested and that is downtown nairobi